guys, we're about to get some Jack in the Box strawberry milkshake. I don't know, I kind of really like the Jack in the Box strawberry milkshakes that they have. It's pretty good usually. This thing is amazing, guys. I really love this thing. Ooh, so delicious. All right, guys, we're almost there. We have about like 50 miles left until uh, destination, and we can surprise the owner with a couple of goodies. Here we are. There you are. I got a surprise for you. Crazy surprise. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, that's what the minivan is for. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But there she is. Awesome. Ready to rock and roll, pretty much. Except needs some cleanup and stuff. Yeah, and then, good. yeah. And this is the only difference, right? I got a new hose for, I don't know if this one. I have one for this one. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, this tank is like literally really feels nice inside. Yeah. There's no garbage or anything. We just have to like rinse it off. Uh, probably put some kind of cleaner in there and then run some like garden hose through really quick and especially the filler neck right here clean all that off flush all that out this is a, a tank that I brought so this is actually in a great shape it has a few differences as far as like the return hose right here but it's not a big deal it's still gonna work on this car the main thing right now before we install it is to flush it out, clean it from inside, um, and probably take out the sand fuel sending unit, check that as well, and possibly clean it, and then reinstall everything. These are some brand new parts that we got. So this is a fuel filter. This pump is brand new. We used it just a little bit, but it's still brand new. And then he cleaned up this uh, fuel accumulator and installed new hose um this is the tank strainer that came out of that tank and it's actually pretty clean but uh he has a brand new one he'll be installing right here yep and then in the future uh he will have to order a brand new one of these assemblies all right because this is getting bad and we don't have another one but we're gonna clean it as best as we can Okay, we're about to flush out this fuel tank. Really good. Spencer has some really cool adapters. You ready? So it's gonna start coming out of there. Yeah. Let me know if you need like more pressure or something. Now try to like wiggle it as well, shake it, you know, like that. Ooh. 
Yeah, there's trash coming out. Water's pretty dirty. Yeah, like that. And then we could do the same just from filling it from the neck. thing it kind of looks like a gas station pump but anyway so we're just filling this thing up all the way I'm kind of shaking it as well I'm gonna try to make sure um, yeah also to make sure you don't forget about these rubber pads they have to go on the specific spots how it was from the factory um, yeah but this thing tank is in amazing condition honestly like it's super clean like there's no sludge no debris nothing in that thing spencer say cheese Okay. Yeah. It doesn't come off, right, by hand? Did you try? No, I not Okay, so yeah, it's, it's gonna probably stay right might there. might be different though. That's fine. Yeah, and we can clean this at the same time, clean that area before we put the tank in. That looks like it's full right there. You gotta shake it really good. Okay, and then we can drain it out. Shake it while you're doing it a little bit, if you can. There you go. There. Good workout for you. <laughs> Just what I needed in the 110. Right, in the hot weather like that. Yeah. Get dry. I'm gonna put it in the sun with all the holes opened up <laughs> and gonna let it dry. And then later, we're probably gonna use some compressed air, just blow through. All right, guys, we're currently we're about to start working on the trunk. Uh, I'm gonna clean everything inside right here uh, before installing the tank. The tank is currently right there, just drying up. Uh, and then, yeah, we just have to organize everything right here. And then later on, uh, we'll install everything back. Hopefully we can have a nice, amazing start of this car after 10 years. So this EVAP line right here, it goes actually all the way to the engine on this car. And it comes to this char charcoal canister over here. So I'm gonna pull this hose and we're gonna blow compressed air through, make sure there's no junk or garbage in there. And then we're probably gonna pull this guy off too. And just make sure she's good. It's 
So we're lubricating all these linkages. I already did it last time, but today I have to do it some more because this throttle valve, throttle body is just really stiff. It used to be really stiff. Now it's a little better. Just gotta work it in and out more. We also cleaned and checked this vent valve and it's good. It will go back on the left side of the tank. Good, good enough, perfect. We're ready to install this tank onto that bad boy. So we're gonna clean this old strainer out and use this one with a new o-ring because this one is actually for the diesel so it's a little bit different diameter thread right there so it's not gonna work but this is in pretty good shape you just have to close uh clean it but for this you have to use a pick to take that out i can do it if you want you go through the other side. The side? From the outside, uh-huh. Sometimes they're stuck on there. You can tell nobody has been there before. New versus old. Do it from the other side too. Yep. Um, I think you forgot something. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Tighten that thing up. That's good. Good. All right, let's throw her back on. That's actually, let's reattach this pad right here. We'll go right there. That's right. I can use some of it. So put it on this and I'll reattach the bottom. At least it's an all clean tank now. Put a little bit in and see if it's leaking. Yeah. No leaks. Amazing. I think that was the vacuum pump. Yeah. This is an 85. It's like the first year they started making these steering wheels. As far as I remember, yeah. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, so the fuel tank is in. Okay. Everything, not everything, but most of the stuff and all the hoses are, are installed. So hopefully we have a start or hopefully there's no more issues with clogged lines.